Okay, today's lesson is on mixed fractions and converting them into improper fractions. Mixed fractions are fractions like this, where you have uh, a whole number and a fraction mixed together. So the way you'd say this would be you have one and three-fifths. One whole number and three-fifths of a number. So sometimes it's good to have your fractions written in that form. Other times it's good to have them written in improper form, which is like this. Usually we're used to looking at fractions with the top number being smaller than the bottom number. I guess that's kind of like the proper form. Well, improper fractions would have the big number on top and the little number on the bottom. Again, the top number is the numerator, bottom number is the denominator. So 9 over 4, big on top, small on the bottom, that's improper. Okay, so let's take a look um, at a question like this before we get to how to switch back and forth. What would the fraction be for this little diagram here? Well, you have uh, these three boxes, each is cut into three sections, or thirds. Two of them are completely filled in. So we have two completely filled in boxes. So that's shown as the number, the whole number, two. Two whole boxes filled in. What you have left over is a box where only one out of the one, two, three boxes are filled in. One out of three. One out of three. That's one third. So the fraction here would be two and one third. So um, it's handy sometimes to be able to convert from mixed to improper and sometimes it's handy also to go from improper to mix. So now I'm going to show you how we can do that starting with going from improper to mixed. Here's how you do it. You see how many times the bottom number, the denominator, goes into the top number, the numerator. How many times, multiples. What times 4 will give you 22? Nothing evenly, but we know that 5 comes pretty close. 5 times 4 is 20, so we know that 4 goes into 22 5 times. Now obviously there is some left over. Well how much is there left over? 4 goes into 22 5 times with 2 left over, because 4 times 5 is 20, so there's 2 left over. That leftover number goes on the top, on the numerator. The denominator just stays as 4. Simple as that. Now we're not quite done yet because actually this fraction, like we did, in the, we saw in the last lesson, you can reduce. You always look to reduce fractions. You know that the biggest number that goes into both two and four, the GCF of two and four is two. So two goes in there once, two goes in there twice. You're left with keep the same five, one over two, or one half. All right, this one here. How many times does 8 go into 21? Um, 8 times 1 is too small. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. That's too much. So it has to be 8 times 2. So 2 will work. 8 times 2 is 16. How much left over to get to 21? Well, 21 minus 16 is 5. So again, the leftover number goes on top, 5. And the bottom number just stays the same. It's 8. You can't reduce this, so you're done. 18 going into 24. 18 goes into 24 once. How much left over? Six times left over. And the, new, the uh, denominator stays the same as 18. Now for this, <coughs> whenever you see two even numbers, you know you can reduce by dividing by two, dividing by two, dividing by two but sometimes you can realize there's actually a bigger number that can go into both these numbers. The greatest common factor of 6 and 18 is 6. 6 goes in here once, 6 goes in there three times. So 6 goes in there once, 6 goes in there three times, you're left with 1 and 1 third. This one here, 9 goes into 108. Um, I have to figure this out, but you know, 9 times 10 you know is 90. How much left over? Well, 18. Wait a minute, 9 can also go into 18. 
shouldn't take you too long to realize that 9 goes into 108 12 times. But 9 times 12 is 108. So there's nothing left over. So there's nothing left over. You don't put 0 over 9. You just leave it. The answer is just 12. Okay, the other way around. Mixed, going to improper. A little cycle here I'll show you. What you do is you take the bottom number, you multiply it by the big number, or the whole number, so the denominator times the whole number, or bottom times big, plus the top number. The denominator times the whole number, plus the numerator, or bottom times big, plus top. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1, 10. 10 over, keep the denominator, like we did before, of 3. That's it. Check to reduce. You can't reduce with these two. We're done. Over here, same deal. 7 times 5, bottom times big, plus the top. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4, 39. And leave the bottom number as 7. Cannot reduce that, you're done. 1 and 8 fourteenths, again, same thing, bottom times the big number, add it to the top number. 1 times 14 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 26. It's 24. Sorry. It's 22. Sorry, even more. Ooh, bad day, rough day. Uh, so again, 14 plus 8 is 22. What was, what was I thinking there? Over 14. Now, are we done? No, because you know that they're both even numbers. 2 for sure goes in them, and actually that's the only number that can go into both 22 and 14. So we can divide the top and bottom by 2. 2 goes into there 11 times. 2 goes into there 7 times. So the reduced fraction is 11 over 7. Alright, so uh, there you are, and here you are. I'd like you to, for the skill testing questions, uh, draw out this table and then just fill it in. If I give you the mixed, give me the improper. If I give you the improper, give me the mixed. And so on and so forth. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.